Hello everyone, my name is Ranos, or in RuneScape 07 RoboRec at the moment. Now, this is not a video uh, to make for progress updates or such that I have uh, already a few videos now of, but this is just me talking while I'm doing, you know, a little bit of mining. My friend John, also known as uh, PVM Big Boy in RuneScape 07, made a video just recently to commemorate his kind of old RuneScape friends slash buddies. And I was uh, mentioned relatively high in his list because he was a uh, he's a good person. I've known for many years now. We originally met at the uh, li our, our local library. I was playing RuneScape there. Yeah, that library actually allowed me to play, it, so that was kind of cool. But they, uh, yeah, they allowed me to play RuneScape, and he just came up, guy. You know, I didn't even know at the time, nor did I know I was gonna become friends with uh, for so long in the future. And was asking me, yo, what are you doing? You know, because he played RuneScape and he saw I was playing. And at the time, it was back before uh, EOC came out. And it was during the, uh, after the Stronghold of Player Safety came out. And I was not a member at the time. But I uh, knew that killing the level 83, I want to say it was, cockroaches there, had some of the best money at the time for non-members. Because they consistently dropped like Rune Square Shields and Rune Scimitars. Good stuff. And I was showing him about it, and he was just baffled at like that non-member way of making money and such, because he didn't really know it was a thing. And I taught him like many other things about RuneScape and a lot of things. And then next thing you know, like me and John end up just kind of hitting it off slowly but surely, and we became very good just RuneScape friends. Now. Even though he does still play 07 a fair amount, he's been taking, you know, little breaks here and there, kind of, he's pretty popular for playing private servers, he plays a good amount of them. And, yeah, also, by the way, I will give you guys a link, both in the description, probably somewhere also on this video, to his channel. Yeah, definitely check him out. If you guys like RuneScape-related stuff and or private servers, definitely check him out. Good guy. But... He'll get on here and there. He's helped me out a lot in game already. Like, he's giving me stuff because I originally quit 07 on my main account, uh, which was Names Ranos, and then restarted up roughly about a month ago and made quite a bit of progress on my second account I made during the two weeks that they had um, free to play open, well, for free, and then eventually they just made free to play permanent, which I did like four to five days of nothing but grinding during that, and then soon after became a member. But more or less, from that, he helped me out when I first got back into it. He gave me some supplies, a little bit of money, just stuff to help me out. And then when I became a member, he just helped me out significantly more. Gave me like a thousand monkfish, which I still have like literally four or five hundred left, which greatly came in handy. And along with a few other things, I don't even remember half the stuff he gave me. Like I know a bunch of Herbalore supplies that I used up. It's just stuff that, that really helped me out. Very given guy. I've helped him out a lot with like knowledge and stuff of RuneScape, and then he kind of just returns me with a bunch of items and stuff. But he, nonetheless, good guy. I've gone out with him and all of our friends. He also mentioned our friends uh, Micah and Ryan, which shout out, of course, to both of them, even though Micah don't play RuneScape and he hates it, but forget him. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we've all gone out. We're all real life friends. And we all just like to try and chill and have fun and try and see each other as much as we can. You know, outside of, you know, our busy schedules, working and such, things like that, you know. So, this is just a nice little shout out to him. Just thanking him for just even mentioning me and, you know, just more than showing that me, he mentioned me as Tyler, which yes, that is my name. That me, Ryan, and Micah are, you know, good friends of his. And this video is to just help kind of, you know, commemorate that and also support him along with any of our other RuneScape friends or buddies we might have met over the years, made good friendships, bonds with people, let alone clans or anything we might have joined back in the day. So I know some of my like old RuneScape friends, like Flight Zero, don't really talk to them too much anymore. Had a, unfortunately, a little falling out with them, but at least the good times I shared with them were always really, really chill. At least a fallout specifically with uh, him and John, unfortunately. But eh, stuff happens, I suppose. Uh, outside of that, shout out to Masta. He's one of the people I definitely remember some of the most back in the day uh, before EOC. I don't even remember the, na the name of the clan we were in, but he was one of the people I know I talked to some of the most to. I think I might still have him on Skype, but I just literally never talked to him anymore. 
good guy. He was there back when I got my Torva plate body drop. There's a few other people I know. There was one chick. Oh, I don't remember her name. I know her name. I messaged her or whatever when I got the Torva plate body drop. And I do have that video somewhere here on YouTube. Uh, I could probably find her name on there. I do apologize. I don't remember it. But shout out to you. That's for sure. Even though I highly doubt she even knows I even exist anymore. Let alone she probably doesn't even know I'm a YouTube, uh, YouTuber at all either. But nonetheless, good old shout out to her. And anyone else I know, I can't remember. There's a ton of people I, I've known over the years on RuneScape. And a ton of them I definitely don't remember anymore. That's for sure. Like hell, even my friends list at the moment, like on 07, is like nothing. Like, still had flights on here, but he gave his like... Flight zero, his flight zero, father zero now. Account like was his main account, but he unfortunately gave it away. Zebrock, that one's Ryan. He still plays 07 pretty religiously. Me and him talk a very good amount. And me and him are actually kind of almost neck and neck. We're kind of halfway competing with each other without... It's an invisible competition. We're trying to one-up each other. We're like neck and neck, both in skills and quests. Like, we beat each other in our own respective areas. And then you got PVM Big Boy course the dude that <laughs> pretty much encouraged me to even make this video he didn't even say nothing I just made it on my own accord after he made his video uh, find GF30k I don't even think he plays anymore but dude I literally met recently probably my first non person I knew that I kind of became friends with to a certain degree on RuneScape but I think he literally was like a non member played for like one or two weeks talked to him quite a fair amount and then he just I haven't seen him since so he might have quit RuneScape already though which is kind of unfortunate, but it happens. Clism, which was uh, Mike's account, but he don't play no more. He decided to try again just for the funsies, but didn't last long. But hey, no big deal. Nonetheless, though, hopefully I'll meet some more cool people in the future in RuneScape. Maybe at some point join a clan again, because I did enjoy the clan days back in the day when they weren't filled with drama, because I ain't going to lie. When it comes to clans, it doesn't matter what it is. RuneScape or like TeamSpeak for example, I used to be in like a group on TeamSpeak, shit can get drama filled, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, so, outside of all that, maybe one day I can do all that, I just skip those orders over there. Anyway, so, yeah, this video is definitely to commemorate that, and to all of my friends and all the people that have just met over years on RuneScape, and just in general, just playing video games and such. And also, I'm going to try and get a few clips for you guys to see some of uh, the old, like, RuneScape videos I've posted back in the day. Try and get some of those on here, and so you can see kind of some of the old fun and adventures, or maybe some of the highlights of some of the stuff back in the day that me, John, Ryan, or anyone else I knew that played RuneScape. I know that actually that includes Steven also, when we used to play quite a bit with him, but unfortunately we don't really talk to Steven way too much anymore, at least I haven't heard too much from him. He's, uh, he's, uh, he still messages me with some stuff here and there, that's for sure. But it was, it was some good ass memories with him back in the day too. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and also, real fast guys, really quick side note, uh, the audio for the clips that you're about to uh, witness, they're a bit janky or messed up slash kind of loud. It was back when a lot of us had really bad microphones and such. So just a quick warning, uh, so you guys, hopefully your eardrums don't burst or anything, so just a quick warning before you guys see our very entertaining clips ahead. Thanks again for watching. Yeah, because I really like Bandos' spikes. I like the new armor style, but I don't like the spikes. I'm so trying to not, like, lisp when I say that. Get lisp. Get that lisp. <laughs> Get your lisp on. I was about to say, hey, that's, that's a pretty nice lisp you got there. Oh my god. You do that too well, it's still creepy. I can't wait to hear it on the video, see how it oh. turns out. You, oh god, you'd be surprised. Like, how well it does? Yeah, like, how well you do that, like, scares me a little. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was frightening. <laughs> it was. Uh, I, I started thinking of the one, uh, oh wow, I got a test, not <laughs> mud skip, anyway, test complete thing, anyway, what I was saying is, I was thinking the one episode when he, uh, uh, when Peter told all them kids to try and, like, uh, mug him or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, he said, um, don't, uh, don't reach for the money that's, like, uh, strapped to my thigh or something like that. <laughs> uh, 
I should say it, but I don't know. <laughs> it was so funny. It helps if I know the line. It'd be funnier. All right. I am done with my bloody clue scroll. I have the bloody casket. Let's see what I got. Room you know, plate body gold. Do, wow. Dang. I got a room plate body wow. gold, fox mask, and an enchanted robe. I'll enchanted buy robe's off. junk. I don't care. Like fox mask, I might buy off you. I'm just going to buy that rune body right now from you. Holy crap, 600k? For the oh, mask? Mind. Well, that's just for those three items. Oh, yeah, the mask's only like 200k. 156. What's the plate body worth? 380. I did not expect it to be that good of a cro Okay. Oh, you're busy tonight. It's off. Yeah. The legs are like worth 68k. The enchanted robes, and then I got that. Yeah, I want the mask. How much is that worth? Like 158. Well, I mean 156, something like that, okay? Yeah, I'll buy it for 150, 150 160. Hmm. <laughs> it's a red mask. I picked that up. <laughs> Did they update those, or they still look the same? Still looks the same. Looks like a fox and a mask. Wait, is that? I gotta draw that Ava's. Yeah. I haven't seen the Ava's update. Well, technically it's the alerter, but I think it's the same thing. Yeah. I need to get my alerter. What do you need to refresh those? Just steel arrows? Something like that. I think so. Uh, there's bronze arrows on the ground next to me. Who cares? Look at these people with their veteran capes. I just made 600k. Yeah, and I'm buying something off of you now. I got a fox okay. mask. I got a foxy uh, mask. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, what just happened? Double rainbow. Whoa! Oh my god. Did John <laughs> just join us? Yeah, I think so. What the hell? I used uh, teleport. Oh god, god, he's back. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? John? I think you dropped something. Did you die? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I dropped my, fu my fucking table broke. <laughs> Your table? I knew something broke. Yeah. What? Like, it wasn't, like, like, the thing wasn't all the way, like, stuck down, like, oh, it needed to be, like, re-glued, and it's been fucking up every day, and I finally actually like, leaned on it a lot, because I was, like, walking by my shit, and I actually, like, fell over, so I, like, <laughs> put my hand on it, and it just went down, and my parents, my parents thought I died. We are ashamed to tell you this, but we may or may not have caught that in a recording. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, I would like, you know what I would like to try, just because it would be funny as rocks? Because I would love to, like, have, go against, like, a hundred level threes wearing, like, full bronze. That'd be great. That would be great. I'm sure if you were famous enough, we could get something like that arranged. Oh, I would love to get that arranged. That'd be great. You'd just be soul splitting him. Or, no, no. That's also not even fair because you go up against 100 people who are level 130 anyway every day. You do that soul for wow. thing anyway. You don't die from them. How are you going to die from level 3? Okay, make it 500. <laughs> You're not helping your chance <laughs> to die. You're not going to die. I bet all the people are bored of watching me sniff. I bet. But they hear us talking and making fun of crashing table <laughs> oh god denial of interwebs <laughs> that's the best part right there <laughs> <laughs> that is horribly funny I don't even care how does like how does that work you hold the on button for five seconds that's how it works <laughs> I, I understand <laughs> that logic <laughs> oh, I don't like my children I'm gonna turn off their internet Question like, mark, question mark, question mark, profit. That's like the worst thing you can do to a child, turn off their internet. <laughs> Who else agrees? I know everybody who's watching this probably agrees. Back when I was a child. Turn off my I internet. Yeah, what's internet? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Clicking in <laughs> certain places during the squeal of for fortune allows you to get what you want. It doesn't. They fixed that the first like week it was out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I tried that on like five different accounts, and I I rewatched someone's video like ten times trying to figure it out. 
when the thing goes by, I've been clicking it. When the little light goes across the one thing, I've been clicking it at that same time, and it always lands at the same place. Maybe because you just suck. What the fuck is a blast furnace? God damn, do I gotta explain everything? Yes, you yeah. do, actually. Uh, okay. You go, <laughs> you go to the dwarf place, and outside of the mag of the uh, lava mine, there's a blast furnace. You go there, you go underground. People do other shit, and then you just dump all your ores in this big ass melting pot. Wait, there's, what? There's a guy there who also sells ores for cheap. He also will unnote any ore for you for like two cents each. How do I convert pennies into RuneScape? If you're going with a coal bag, you can do uh, 15, I think. What the and fuck is a coal bag? It's a bag of coal. It's something you get in Dungeon Man. Bag of coal. Tyler, where are you? Where are you smithing at? Edgeville. <laughs> that too. <laughs> How do just close it out to the thing, and when you're in the city, it'll show all the tasks that you're able to accomplish. You're really smart. <laughs> Thank you. You're just not smart than Tyler, probably. I don't think no one is. I think he's smart than Albert Einstein. Actually, he might be Albert Einstein's son. Tyler? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tyler? <laughs> What's up? Fuck you, you're stupid! <laughs> hey, how do, I, how do I make a play out of the sawmill? Oh, I just leveled in four, man. Oh, shit. I can now do orange tree. When did farming, when did farming get so hardcore? Dude, orange trees are huge profit. They actually are. I keep forgetting. Hey, Stupid hey, give me money. I'm begging. Give me a hand job. All right. We can make this work. I like this idea. I have gold bars. We will make it work. By the way, I'm trying to for grab two balls. hours yesterday, at this door in the bank, I was just screaming at it. Why? What? I don't know. I just like, you stupid whore! I'm in! <laughs> Alright. You guys really need to help me with this. I, I don't know how to get cougars. You just Studying talk to guard people and answer quid questions about the museum, and then hand job or two later, you'll have all the kudos you need. Really do. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, there's no sausage flavor. Now who would want sausage flavor? Pops, you come, you some kind of sicko? Yes, yes I am. His internet got shut off again. What? Really? Master. Oh. He logged out. <laughs> what? Well, I tell you, the internet on. Just read the wacky. I am. I read it all. I'm going to shove a five foot pole up your ass. Hey, it's six and a half foot pole. Oh my god. Stop. I'm mad. I'm not supposed to laugh. <laughs> what are the effects presumed to be used for defense or display, atta attacking prey, latching onto objects? That's right. What the hell? I latch onto objects. What do we. What do we think? The <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed those little clips of pretty much those were all from uh, sessions of uh, a little mini series I did a long time ago. Just it was called uh, Daily RuneScape. It was actually kind of entertaining to do, but only was like 20 or 21 episodes long. Just like 10 minute little snippets of just RuneScape bullshit here and there. But nonetheless, that was for some really, really good times back in the day with definitely some of my favorite RuneScape people. Of course, being PVM Big Boy, aka John, uh, Zebrock, aka Ryan, Masta was in there back when we used to talk to him too, and Steven, who was Def Mach 5 at the time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and this little collage kind of dedicated to all my quote unquote RuneScape brothers, and of course, anyone else in general who I've played video games with and have had a good time. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all for the next video. Peace on out, everyone, and thanks again.